Uh, I have zero question in my mind that the uh, Crown Prince MBS ordered the killing, monitored the killing, uh, knew exactly what was happening, planned it in advance. If he, if he was in front of a jury, he would be convicted in 30 minutes uh, uh, guilty. Um, so uh, the question is, what do we do about that? Um, so far, um, it's unfortunate, but I think they, they feel like this is something that's come and passed because uh, the administration has not spoken to this in a way that uh, it has spoken to it in a manner that really uh, gives them immunity. And so what the message is to him and those around him is that you can go around killing journalists. Uh, countries like the United States can know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you killed a journalist. And by the way, they've, as you know, renditioned other people and tortured other people that have been their dissidents. Um, so the message we've sent to them is, uh, is one that uh, will cause him to continue on the path that he's on. And I'm sure other actors in the region uh, will take note of that. So somehow or another, it's unfortunate. And again, I'm continuing to urge the administration uh, to themselves speak to this in the appropriate manner. Um, uh, what do you want them to I, do? Uh, this has got to be strongly condemned by the administration, strongly condemned, and then there's got to be a price to pay for what has happened. Um, I know that they have to have exactly the same intelligence that we have, and there's no way that anybody with a straight face could say there's any question about what has happened. So, um, what are you you right, right. so, we, so it's always, as you know, far more difficult. To, uh, to do something legislatively. Uh, I would prefer that we speak to the killing of the journalist. Uh, there are others that would prefer to speak to the killing of the journalist and to Yemen. So when you start moving down that path on a bill that addresses the War Powers Act, which is in itself complicated, and some administrations would say it's even unconstitutional, obviously that makes it difficult and so we've got a uh, we've got a, a a task in front of us i would like to actually pass something that became law uh, others would like just to send a message so uh, you take all of those together be much better if the commander-in-chief would stand up and say to the world we don't condone the killing the ordering and the killing and dismemberment of journalists we don't condone that and Therefore, we're going to take these steps. Uh, that doesn't appear to happen. I hope it's, it hasn't appeared happened yet. I hope it happens in the next couple of days. If it doesn't, we've got to figure out a way to address it, and uh, um, that makes it much more difficult. Are you concerned that the country's economic interest more important than what well, you well, first of all, the, the, look, the, the, the amount of equipment they're buying is not anywhere near the number that has been laid out. So the economic piece of this is, it's, it's not even close to the numbers that have been laid out. Um, that's the, look, Saudi Arabia does what, it's do, does what it does with oil and with Iran. They do what's in their best interest, okay? So, uh, as you know, uh, you saw recently where they're negotiating to curtail uh, the amount of oil production because prices are where they are. So to think that they do what they're doing with oil or they do what they do with Iran because of us is a misnomer. Uh, it's in their own interest to do what they do in both cases. Senator, Senator, Senator are you planning you'd to, have to be willfully blind to, or to, I'm sorry, you can't say with a straight face that this you cannot say with a straight face. So how do you square what Mike Pompeo said, standing at these microphones last week, that you know there's no direct evidence of this, and and, and how do you square the two briefings? You Let got me just over put it this week? way: if the Crown Prince went in front of a jury, he would be convicted in 30 minutes of murder. Yes. Why isn't the Yemen resolution something that does have teeth one of the right ways to try to punish Saudi Arabia? Which one? The Yemen, the Yemen resolution. Well, the Yemen resolution uh, gets into a, a, 
war powers situation and the administration can easily turn right back around and say we're not involved in hostilities. We're not refueling their, their equipment right now. That has stopped. Um, you know, so we're, well, no, that, well, that's, we're, we're selling them bombs. We're selling them bombs. And the purpose in selling those bombs is to keep them from killing more innocent civilians because they, uh, you know, they're really poor at conducting military operations. They're very poor at conducting military operations. So, anyway, I, I don't want to bait that with you right now. What I'll say is there's complications with that. And I'd like to figure out a way to have a consensus amendment. It may not be doable, but that's what we're working on. And, and, we're work and the reason it's difficult is there are some people that would like to speak only to the killing of the journalists. There are other people that want to speak to the Yemen issue at large. Uh, trying to pool that together in a manner that unifies Congress is difficult. Uh, it would be really easy for the president to walk out into the press room today and, and just state that, uh, that MBS killed a journalist. We know he killed a journalist. We know he ordered it. We know he, we, we know that uh, uh, he monitored it. These are all people that are very close to him. And, and that is not acceptable per American standards. And going out, by the way, and getting other people in other countries and renditioning them back to the country and torturing them just because they happen to have a different point of view as to the regime is also inappropriate. So um, I think the message to them is, look, um, this is something that we can get away with. Uh, the greatest country on earth and its leader has said it's okay for us to get away with this. We're gonna continue doing does it make you sad the president won't come out and say that today? Uh, it, I, I don't want to use the word sad. I'm urging in a positive way that they take action uh, themselves. Because uh, uh, it would be, I, I don't know, we'll see. Thank you, Thank you sir.